see how big the falls is. <laughs> oh my god. I still get excited uh, seeing the, the falls. Good morning everyone! Welcome to Charmaine's Journal. So for today's video, Bay and I will go on a road trip and we are going to one of my favorite places to visit in Canada. So um, I'm very excited to show you what this is, what this place is all about. So uh, let's go on a road trip! So the first time I've seen this place was in 2006 when I got here and uh, I fell in love with it so I'm so excited to visit it again uh, so let's go Hi Bay. We're entering this really high bridge between St. Catharines and Niagara Falls Look, we're so high It's not too busy at this time, maybe because it's still early, it's around 10.30 in the morning on a Saturday. So it's not this late. Oh my god, nobody's here. This is just weird that it's spring, weather is nice and nobody's here. It's sad. It's sad to see that the busiest um, attraction in Canada is kind of dead. Hill. Yeah, we're turning right at Clifton Hill. This is where you can find all the attractions. Ripley's. Hardly any tourists. Hardly. There's the nobody here. They closed the road. There is nobody here. Oh my goodness. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Tur tourism has really gone. There's still sad. There's some people, but not a lot. So it's dead. It's end of March, and it's dead. It's usually very in the Niagara Falls. Oh, we can see the falls from here. That's the USA. The one that you're looking at right now is the U.S. part of Niagara Falls. That's the U.S. side. See how big the falls is. <laughs> oh my god. I still get excited uh, seeing the, the falls. So that's the U.S. And on the other side over there it's is the Horseshoe, it's the Horseshoe Falls. That's, that's the Canadian Niagara Falls. We'll walk around later. So we found parking. There's actually lots of parking spots, which is very unusual for Niagara. There's a Skyline Tower. So there's a restaurant up there as well that revolves. Uh, I'm just not sure if it's open and it's also a viewing deck. So you can see the falls from there. And that is the U.S. Falls. U.S. because it's on the U.S. side. There's uh, quite a few people, but this is not the usual Niagara Falls experience. <laughs> uh, Niagara Falls it's is actually usually... nice to see without too many people. It's yeah. nice and quiet. You can enjoy the view much better because there's not a lot of people. At the same time, it's not good for business, right? A lot of businesses are closed. So businesses are suffering.
right now. It's kind of gloomy, but it's okay. It's not that cold. Ayun, nakatawid na kami. The call is on the other side. Hi, babe. Hi. Are you enjoying this day? Yeah. Why? Because I'm with you. Is that a dad joke? No, it's not. It's for real. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> There's the Niagara bus. So we're at Niagara Falls View Casino. This is the front. This is Niagara Falls View. That's Hilton in front of Falls View Casino. We just brought our coffees outside and just drinking from and just relaxing a bit, trying to plan our day. We're on the way to Great Wolf Lodge, my favorite hotel in Niagara Falls because it reminds me of the times when you when the kids were little and we used to go there and they loved it. The kids are all grown up and they have moved on, but I still love it. So I even asked them if we could book a hotel at Great Wolf Lodge. I wouldn't mind. It's really nice and cozy there. So we're on our way to Great Wolf Lodge and see if it's open. I just parked because we saw a parking lot and there's a lot of people hiking. <laughs> Okay, so we did another stopover. Um, so the other, that side is the US side. And we're on the Canadian side. So the, that river below is what's separating the US and the Canada. There's another beach to the USA, right? I think so, yeah. So this is uh, another bridge that we were uh, talking about earlier. It's, it's a bridge that truck uses to cross the border. It's amazing how Canada and US are just separated by bridges and you know, land and you can just cross so we've been in the US just long driving a few times because you can drive to the US for example going to going to uh, New York you can drive it for like nine or ten hours and you're in New York New York City New York City anyway uh, po ang aming Niagara adventure. So, thank you guys for watching. Hi everyone! So, that was our Niagara Falls experience with Bay. And I was happy to show you 
how beautiful and magnificent Niagara Falls is. Nung una ko pong nakita yun, uh, noong 2006, ako'y manghang-mangha dahil ngayon lang ako nakita ng falls na ganun kalaki. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please watch out for part 2 of the Niagara Falls um, tour. And uh, the part 2 will be walking the uh, Clifton Hill. So, sa Clifton Hill po, andun po yung mga attractions, yung mga rides, and I will show you what's open and what's not along Clifton Hill. So, until my next video, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. You should go there because it's just danger. <laughs> I feel your love.